Hey everybody, what's up? This is Eastside Steve of Eastside Show SCP, and today I'm going to be reading comments from SCP-826. Basically, I asked the question, what would you put between SCP-826, draws you into the book. And y'all left some pretty interesting comments, and so I'm going to read these back to y'all, and I hope you enjoy. The first comment is from a guy that likes games, 9574. They say, a copy of Skyrim. You know what? That would actually be kind of interesting, to experience Skyrim and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it's full of adventure, it's full of danger, there's magic, and everything else. It'd be kind of like if I put uh, Lord of the Rings in there or something. It has the same kind of feel, although I think that's more, a lot more epic in my personal opinion. The next one is from Sneaky King. Tyranid Codex. Oh no. Huh. <laughs> oh no is right. Anything Warhammer Fantasy or Warhammer 40,000 I would avoid like the plague. I mean, cool settings and all, but I'd hate to actually be in the setting, you know? Especially with Warhammer 40,000, I mean, that's the one I'm more familiar with. It's like, you'd probably be like Imperial Guard or something, having to deal with a Tyranid invasion or something. Well, at least you wouldn't last long, so I guess that's a bonus. The next one from Jagrex2412. I might try something stupid and write down Jurassic Park movie in novel form in order to see real dinosaurs. That or get paleo nerds angry when they see a real velociraptor without feathers that's also six feet in height. Huh? Eh? That would be interesting too, provided that Jurassic Park doesn't go the way Jurassic Park usually does. From Ian Dick 1364 SCP-1230 Cross Test. He seems like a cool dude, and I'd love to discuss world building with him. You know, that's actually a really good choice. I would like to actually see what would happen with an SCP-1230 cross test. What would happen? I mean, would he would you actually be able to talk to the man in the robe? The wizard and all that? I think I'd be interested, and I think that needs to be explored if it's not been explored already. From Lord Zazel. 3398. My own fanfic of my favorite anime. Eh, huh? that'd be pretty interesting. I was wondering how that would play out, but of course, since you're the author, you would know exactly what would happen. From Aurora Cyber Media Archives 5170, SCP 140. I too like to live dangerously, but not that dangerously. Of course, the real question is if you put SCP 140 between the bookends, and you're in it, would it actually expand itself that way without having to use like human blood or any other writing materials? That's a good question, one we should not explore. From Lycano5137, uh, did I say that right? Anyways, probably a Call of Cthulhu module or Tomb of Annihilation, you know, cause it'd be fun and challenging. Yeah, as someone who has played Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, there's a probably a good chance you won't make it out unless you know exactly how the tomb works. And even then, I don't think you might not make it out. I mean, even if you have 100% knowledge of how the Tomb of Annihilation works, and all the traps and death traps and everything else that involves in it, I don't know if you'd make it out. From Seth Aurelius 94, I would put my Doctor Who DVD collection between the bookends. Very nice. Now the question is, which Doctor Who? Are we talking about the modern Doctor Whos like David Tennant and all that, or are we talking about classic Doctor Who like uh, Tom Baker and all those others? Which one would you put in there? What would be the first one you would put in there? Let me know. From the Billdozer 7970 I don't read pleasant books. I love Age of Sigmar Warhammer, but I would have visit Arkham and be lost in a Lovecraftian nightmare. Wait, well, you do you. I'm not very familiar with the Age of Sigmar Warhammer, but I am familiar with Warhammer in general, and that's probably not very pleasant. I don't know anything about it, but uh, I'm more into uh, Warhammer 40,000. I think Age isn't Age of Sigmar uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, I'm not very sure. Anyways, you're gonna be in for a wild time, regardless. From Oh No He Man 19, I think the World War series from Harry Turtledove would be really cool to explore, probably get killed from aliens or paranoid people, but you know that it would still be cool. I haven't read that yet, but if anybody has any uh, context to put in the comments section, let me know, 
It might be something I might want to pick up and read sometime, you know? From KB48996, the original Jurassic Park novel. Hmm, yeah, that would be interesting. As long as you don't get eaten by a T Rex or whatever. You know, as long as you're like at the park and not when the park goes haywire, but it will. From Comet Tail Fern 5852, the Paradise War series, all the books, Celtic myth adventure and pagan dark lord against an order of warrior bards. Hell yeah. You know what? You think you already sold me on that? Now I gotta pick that up and read it, cause that's exactly the kind of stories I'm into. From Bullet Two One Nine. For me, probably a Star Trek book of some kind. Definitely the Pokemon manga, or anime, or Monster Musume. <laughs> Monster Musume, you say, huh? Or I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta do my ghost impersonation. Do it. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh! <laughs> nah, I don't kink shame. I got my own kinks, but uh. Yeah, I, I just had to just make a little nod at that. <laughs> now that I said this, there's probably gonna be people in the comments section like putting like doujinshis and shit in there. <laughs> it could be like, yeah, man, I gotta put the giant girl uh, manga in here now. I gotta be the I gotta be in the sidelines on this one, or other kind of stuff like that. Oh yeah, gotta put that Naga girl in there. How about that cow girl, slime girls, all that. <laughs> from from Alex Thompson three one one seven, any harem anime. As I reiterate, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> from the Judgmental Cat, Spawn Comics or Shadow Out of Innsmouth. Eh. HP Lovecraft would be pretty interesting, but uh, you might go mad and never escape the book. Spawn Comics, well, Violator exists, so yeah, there you go. Anyways, that about covers it for my reading of SCPA-28, draws you into the book and the comments from that. If there's anything else you want me to read or whatever in the future, just let me know. I'm always down for whatever. Anyways, Eastside out.